Welcome to Accounting in Focus. Let's run through some fairly common journal entries that you'll probably see as you're going through financial accounting. So I put a list of journal entries up at the top and we're going to run through each one of them and explain the methodology that I use to do journal entries and um, go through the accounts and talk about what type of accounts we're using. So let's look at the first one. When I do journal entries, I like to go through and underline things that I think are important. <clears throat> so let's do that with the first one. So Joe, new owner, invests $20,000 cash. Let's underline that. $5,000 worth of computer equipment. So I'm going to underline that also. In exchange for $25,000 in stock to start a landscaping business. So let's think about what's happening here. So Joe, new owner, is starting a landscaping business. He's investing $20,000 in cash and $5,000 worth of computer equipment in exchange for $25,000 in stock. Okay, so let's start thinking about the accounts. Whenever I do a journal entry, I like to put the accounts first. <clears throat> and the reason that I do that is because if you try to put each account and then the debit or credit, by the time you get to the last account, if you feel like you're locked in to those debits and credits, and that's where I find students make errors. So let's look at our accounts. Well, he's investing cash. Cash is one of my accounts. And what type of account is cash? Cash is an asset. Okay. <clears throat> he's also giving $5,000 worth of computer equipment. So I've got computer equipment. and in exchange for $25,000 in stock. So we're going to call this common stock. Common stock is an equity account. Computer equipment is also an asset. Okay, so now let's look at each one of our amounts. So for cash, it says $20,000 in cash, and he's investing that to start the business. So if we're doing entries for the business, the cash for the business is going up. And when an asset goes up, that's a debit. How about computer equipment? We use $5,000 worth of computer equipment. Is my balance going up or going down? My balance is going up. I have $5,000 more computer equipment than I had before the transaction. When an asset goes up, it's a debit. And then common stock. Well, you could say, okay, I've got $25,000 worth of debits, so I need to have a $25,000 credit. But let's think about this. Common stock is an equity account. Is my balance in my common stock going up or going down? Well, I had no common stock before this transaction. Now I have $25,000 worth of stock, which means my stock is going up. When an equity account goes up, it's a credit. Okay, so that makes sense that my debits equal my credits. Let's look at number two. The company purchased $5,000 worth of office supplies, business cards, paper, toner, etc., paying cash. Okay, so we know that there's cash involved, and we know that there are office supplies, and we bought $500 worth. So, I've got office supplies, and what type of account is office supplies? That is an asset. The reason that office supplies are an asset is because when you buy them, they are something that you can use to make money for your business. You have not used them yet, right? Basically you kind of put them in a room or a closet or whatever to use later. So office supplies are an asset. My other account is cash. So let's look at what's going on. Now most students, they understand what's going on with cash, right? So you might want to do cash first. Is my cash going up or going down? 
Well, if I'm purchasing something, I paid cash. When I pay cash, my cash goes down. So I'm going to credit cash 500. What's happened to my office supplies? Do I have more office supplies or less office supplies? I have more, which means my balance is going up. When an asset goes up, we debit the account. Okay, let's look at number three. The company purchases $22,000 worth of landscaping equipment, paying $5,000 cash and taking a loan for the remaining balance. So what's the company doing? So we purchased $22,000 of landscaping equipment. We paid $5,000 cash and a loan for the difference. Okay, so I have landscaping equipment. I've got cash and it says a loan. When we talk about loans, we're really talking about notes payable. So I've got landscaping equipment, cash, and notes payable. Let's see what's happening to each one of these accounts. Well, I purchased $22,000 worth of landscaping equipment, so I previously didn't have any because it was a brand new business, and now I have $22,000 worth. So that's a debit. My cash, well, if I paid cash, my cash is going down $5,000, so that's a credit. And then my notes payable, I'm taking out a note, if I take $22,000 minus $5,000, that's seventeen thousand dollars so I'm taking out a seventeen thousand dollar loan notes payable is a liability because I have to pay it back it's money I owe other people so my notes payables increasing I'm gonna credit the account seventeen thousand okay let's look at number four the company does twenty five hundred dollars worth of work for a client who pays cash when the work is completed so $2,500 worth of work and I get paid cash. So number four, I know I've got cash and what does it mean when we do work? Doing work is revenue. Okay, so what's happening to my cash? Well, if the client is paying us cash, that means the balance of my cash is going up. So $2,500 debit to cash. <clears throat> revenue, okay, if you want, you can look at revenue as its own separate type of account. So assets, liability, equity, revenue, and expense. When, a rev when revenue increases, okay, that's a credit. You can also look at it and say that revenue acts the same way as equity does when my revenue increases my equity goes up so it's a twenty five hundred dollar credit okay let's look at number five number five says the company purchases supplies needed for jobs on account fifteen hundred so I'm buying supplies and I'm buying them on account fifteen hundred okay so <clears throat> I'm buying, we'll call this landscaping supplies. And what does it mean when I say on account? When you see the word on account, you should be thinking either accounts receivable or accounts payable. Now accounts receivable is money that we're going to receive. Accounts payable is money that we're going to pay out. So in this case, if I buy supplies, I've got to pay for those later. So I'm going to be using accounts payable. And that's a liability. Landscaping supplies are an asset. So my asset's going up. I'm going to debit my landscaping supplies 1500 My liability is increasing. When the liability increases, that's a credit. 
So our balance is also going up. Number six. The company rents space for the landscaping equipment and pays $900 cash. Okay, so what's happening here? I'm renting something, so I'm using up rent to place the landscaping equipment and I'm paying $900 cash. So I'm actually going to put cash first because that's easy to identify. Rent. Okay, well, this is something that I'm using in the course of my business to make more money. Okay, so don't confuse this with an asset, right? Because I'm not, I don't own a building, I'm renting space. So we're going to call this rent expense. Okay, so what's happened to my cash? Well, if I'm paying cash, my cash is going down, so I'm going to credit my cash 900. The normal balance in an expense account is a debit. My expense is increasing, so that's also 900. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to I'm going to stop here. If you are interested in watching the rest of these transactions, then please watch the next video.